finally at the end we need to discuss the advantages and limitations of this laptop transfer so what are the advantages advantages are like this signals which are not convergent in fourier transform are convergent in laplace transform which is nothing but disadvantages in case of fourier transform so the convolution in time domain can be obtained by multiplication in f domain that is a major application and integral differential equations of a system can be converted into simple algebraic equations so linear time invariant can be analyzed very easily then coming to the disadvantages so the frequency response of the system cannot be drawn or estimated instead only the pole zero plot can be drawn okay because we are not considering the initial states right and the second disadvantage is that s equals to j omega is used only for sinusoidal steady state analysis we can't use this during transient conditions also okay if you if you are taking in case of electrical circuit solving s equals to j omega means that should be applied only for sinusoidal steady state analysis so that is one more disadvantage and what will be the relationship between fourier transform and laplace transform fourier transform is nothing but laplace transform replaced s with j omega okay right thank you